So you think it's fair that this arrangement where she's giving you money or loaning you money on a down payment for a house should be deducted from these arrears, is what you're saying? Well, that's the agreement we had. Do you have any proof of that? No, it's just a verbal agreement. Do you have proof that it, it was a loan? No. All I know is I have receipts. I mean, I'm inclined to believe that it was a loan because I don't know two exes that would help each other out like this. The principal balance add up on me. what I owe for child support is 5000 And I said, if I owe you anything, it's 5000 for the principal balance. The rest is all interest that I'm paying on. So you did have this conversation? We had a conversation, what yes. What is this restraining order claim that you're making, Mr. Steele, that Ms. Stone attempted to get a restraining order against you two? She attempted to get a restraining order in San Bernardino against me. It was pushed by our son. It's been rocky with my 28-year-old because he doesn't understand what's going on. He's like... This was after on. all of this money? Yes. Was... Okay. So this then... is after, so it's made our our relationship estranged. The with state you of... and your son? Correct. Okay. And uh, the other son we have a really close relationship with that lives with her as well. And... Uh, the state of California is involved right now. Child support service is involved. And there is active lien and it's open. And there's a state hearing coming up as well. And you also made a claim that the plaintiff introduced your son to drugs when he Correct. was younger? Correct. She introduced him to methamphetamine and she used to let him smoke weed in the house. Ma'am? No, he's totally lying. Okay. I'm going to open it up to my colleagues. Did you report to the welfare people the money that you got from her? to deduct from the loan? Yes. Where's the proof of that? I don't have a proof. They told me anything has to go through the court system. They said whatever I make up through here has to be through Is the there currently a all... levy on her bank account? Yes, there and is. And they were drawing money from it? Yes. Do you deny that you got money from it? No, I got money from it, but not recently. And not you're re continuing to get money from it? $10 payments. That's what the order is, isn't it? Yes, but they're, they're actually going for a lot more. Right, but they're going to deduct the entire amount owed from her bank account because nobody has told them, hey, child support services, I just want you to know, actually, she owes me $9,000 less than you think she owes. Yeah, I told them that. They said that you guys need to figure this out in family law. But you're suing her for punitive damages for not paying child support. I had to go do so much paperwork over just getting child support. This is an old case that they had nine cases open and they condensed it to one. The problem is, if you two show up in family court with a claim that she paid other amounts instead of child support, unless there's a court order or a written agreement, there's no guarantee that those amounts will be applied to child support. And I assume that's what you were told, ma'am. I had paid him cash for child support, and I'd have him write a receipt, and I did go to the court, and I said, okay, yeah, I paid this. Sure. And they accepted it, but right. it said child support. Of course. Right. It didn't say U-Haul. Right. Right, okay. Yeah. I have nothing further. All right, thank you. We're going to excuse the parties while we deliberate in this matter. We have deliberated and reached a unanimous verdict. Mr. Steele, you are correct that a lot of this should be in front of the family court. Certainly, your cross-claim for punitive damages associated with non-payment of child support. There is a court order in place governing payment of child support. It is not our jurisdiction to make a new order when the family court was in the best position to assess the correctness and the appropriateness of the child support order in the first place. In addition, you provided us with evidence, which I think, I hope, the Child Support Services Department acts on, that now there is money to fulfill the entirety of the past due obligation without it coming in only $10 a month. But again, that is their business. The issue here for us, though, on your complaint, Ms. Stone, is a little different. You claim is that the money was a loan. That does bring it within our jurisdiction. And more importantly, it means that were it to go to the family court, there is a chance, despite the fact that the two of you seem to agree this was not just a gratuitous gift, there's no guarantee that this would be counted against the child support obligation, particularly given that they appear poised to deduct the rest of the amounts owed so that you'll be reimbursed in full. So for that reason, Ms. Stone, we find that you have proven your case that the $5,000 was intended to be repaid. So the judgment is in favor of the plaintiff for the amount of $5,000 and the defendant's counterclaim for punitive damages associated with child support, that is dismissed.